It's so annoying when you're hanging out in San Francisco and then a giant 800 foot cat shows up and wrecks the place. So in this video, I'm going to show you an art technique that's really easy and it's really fun and you can make some cool art prints like this. Let's jump in. A really popular style of art print is just adding in weird stuff that shouldn't be there. So that's what we're going to do here in this video. I'm going to jump into my picture of my Golden Gate Bridge. And I just grabbed this off of like raw pixel, pixabay. It's just a free public domain piece of artwork. So I'm going to grab this picture, just going to fill it up here into my canvas. And then what I'm going to do now is remove the background. So I've got two ways that I can do it. I can just do magic eraser tool and I can just start removing chunks of the background, which is fine. I'm just going to do that. And this will take care of most of it. The other option you can do if you're in Photoshop is you can do what they call a background eraser tool. And I'm just going to make this a bit bigger. And then you would just go in here and pick your color and then you would just paint and it would just pick up any of that color and just remove it. Sometimes if you don't get the, the actual tolerance right, it will wash out some of the photo. So like that's just an example of doing that. So I'm just going to down the tolerance to 50. I'll just try that one more time. And in this case, you can see it's keeping the bridge a little more accurate here. It's not washing it out because the red and the pink were somewhat similar. So here's just a very quick way to do that. So I've washed out most of it. Okay, so now we've got just the bridge and I will grab the background there too. I'll remove that. Zoot. Okay, so now we're looking pretty good. Now, one of the things I do when I do remove a background is I will typically make a background color like a pink or something just to see if I got everything. So you can see in there, I've missed a couple little spots. So this is very helpful. Now I can just go in using the eraser tool and I can just make this a bit bigger and I can remove those pieces. So I wouldn't have seen that if it was just using the regular background tool, like the regular background that was clear. So here I'm going to just go magic eraser and I'll remove that. Okay, so we're good. So I'm pretty happy with the way that looks. We've got the Golden Gate Bridge and I'm just going to remove now the pink. So now here's the easy art technique. I'm going to grab a picture of something that shouldn't be there. So here, for example, is just a PNG of a cat. So I'm just going to make the cat sitting like that. And it's ridiculous because the cat is like so big. And so what you would do then is just move the cat in behind the bridge. So now you could just add in, for example, sky. So I'll do that. I'll just grab a picture of a uh, sky. I'll grab it from one of my earlier things here. I've got um, some clouds. So I'll just do the clouds and I will just move that in behind. So the cat is now in front and we're pretty much, that's it. You could add in some lightning. You could do whatever you like. So that's pretty much the art technique. Um, if you're making, a, if it's, if it's a funny photo, it doesn't need to be accurate because it's so absurd. The idea is it's a cat in front of the Golden Gate Bridge. So this would look good on a t-shirt, for example, a fine art print, a birthday card. That's a really common one. So that's one example. I'm going to show you just a second example that is uh, very similar to it. And I'm just going to go into my palette here. And then I'm just going to grab a slightly different picture. And I'm going to grab in this case off of Pixabay, just a nature picture. So this is just a forest. So I'm just gonna put that into my palette here. And then I'm going to grab an object that really shouldn't be there. In this case, a bowling ball. And I'm just gonna put the bowling ball right in the art, just like right there. That's it. That's the art technique. So if you're like a bowling fan, you can have that sitting there and it somebody would like it because they're a bowling fan. You can also put in, for example, something really absurd, like the, you know, a huge pair of dice sitting in the middle of a forest. And you can you know, obviously rotate it so it looks like it's sitting maybe down on the ground, something like that. You can also make it smaller if you want it to be a little bit more subtle. So you could just have that, for example. So like if you're like, you know, into gambling or playing dice or something, that could be a photograph that you would just, now it's an original piece of art. You've basically just taken an element and stuck it in the middle of 
you know, a forest and it just shouldn't be there. It's weird, but it works. A lot of times you'll see pictures and you can make these as complicated as you want, but a lot of times you'll see pictures like this and it simply just has something that shouldn't be there and people like it. So I hope you guys found that helpful. A couple quick examples on how you can really easily make some art that you can hang on the wall for home or you could sell it or you can do whatever you like with it. But again, I'm just using public domain resources. Click that like button if you found it helpful. And here's another video that you might like that has some cool art techniques in it. Thanks a lot for watching.